What's up everybody, Kuya Bray here. Uh, here's a series that I wanted to start. It's a game called Firewatch. Uh, so pretty much you're this guy who's having a bit of trouble with his uh, personal life and in some way he's trying to run away from it by uh, becoming some kind of a forest ranger. Uh, let's see how the story goes. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. Who's Julia? I wonder who this Julia is. Who? She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, okay, so I'm Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Ah, oh, please don't make a mess of yourself. You are drunk. <laughs> Okay, this cannot end well. So, what's your, you know, major? Or, you, you're pretty. Now, uh, le let's, let's at least try and, you know, be a gentleman or not be a jerk. You slur the word major and it smells like coarse. Oh, so you're like, so what's your merger? <laughs> uh, you give an awkward smile. Uh, evolutionary biology, she says, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology? Haha. <laughs> -ha. Was that a burn, you ask? She says definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings, she asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. Perfect. One week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. Okay, it wasn't a total disaster. Ooh, elevator. Can move around now. Left click to use object. Backpack. Open sesame. Oh, what is this place? Ah, oh, just a parking lot. Ooh. Anything else out here? Nope. Okay. Let's head to the truck. Load gear. You date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. <laughs> Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Is there gonna be no discussion about this? There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. So like one of those um, purse-sized uh, purse dogs. <laughs> There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Okay, so the options are you pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. <laughs> You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. 
Uh, I don't know. Personally, I would probably pro probably pick the German Shepherd. You know, just to make sure she's always safe. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though she's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. Nineteen seventy-nine. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. Nineteen, <laughs> not nineteen. It's nine thirty p.m. and the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Whoa. Okay. Kids, you're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots. Uh, that would be pretty good, or one day, why rush? Um, hmm. Uh, I would go for one day, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountains. Did, did I do something wrong? Is she upset? We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. In time, don't worry. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says laughing it off. <laughs> one day, okay? Okay, one day, she says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. Ooh. This place looks amazing. I wish I could go hiking or something one day. Sounds so peaceful here. I wanna go camping. Oh, a hat. Pick up. Let's see, left click to drop, right click to examine, hold E to put on. Okay, examine. Beefy hands. I'm not trying to look at my hands. I want to see the cap. Hmm. Okay, why not? Put it on. Can I not see myself? There's no, no trigger. Throw for trail ahead. Two forks, okay. A map of the valley or wherever I am. Do not forget to check in, no fireworks. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Uh, I'll try. Thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. All right. Can I... anything else here? Nope. Oh, it would be so nice to hike in a place like this. Just go for a walk. Ooh. What's going on? 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone home. Ah, uh, gone to bed. Ah. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight, <coughs> you fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad or you ignore her? Um, I think I would ignore. You know, let, let things cool off and then discuss things in the morning. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. Yeah, see? Cool off a bit and then discuss. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. <laughs> you make some coffee and go to work. Nineteen eighty one. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. 
She draws all the places you go. She draws you. Uh, you pose and flex like He-Man. <laughs> or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Uh, come on, show your manly side. You know, He-Man. You look awesome. I wonder what the response would have been if you said uh, Victoria's Secret. Ooh. Oh, is the sun setting? I really love the design of this game. It's... Dead tree. Another dead tree. More trees and branches. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is this path going? Two forks, fire lookout. Eight miles still. Okay. Going for a bit of a hike. Space bar to jump over obstructions. Ah, oh, that looks so awesome. 1982, during the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. Okay, wait, hold up. So... Well, what's, what's happening? Uh, everything seems fine with his personal life, but... When you're actually playing Henry, you're already in the forest. And where's Julia? Okay, I, we'll just have to wait and see. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Come on, he be like he man. Mayhem runs away. Really? Never mind. I got you for protection, and now you just run off like a coward. Uh, May me move. Fuck the the dog. <laughs> Julia yells. Uh, she gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Uh, scare him away, or you beat his goddamn face in. Um, come on, you're he man. Beat him defend yourself your arm gets cut off but you beat the guy to a pulp you don't feel very tough you cry your eyes out before the cops show up they're like oh mommy my boo boo julia asks to take a different path from that day forward you say okay you don't want to go that way either from then on you walk by the river Nineteen eighty four plans to have kids gets waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, two thousand miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job or agree if she commutes back and forth. But either way, both options are a bit, well, quite selfish. Uh, but I really don't want to be such a big douche and say don't take the job. Uh, I'll agree with uh, to for commutes. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it for you do it if you won't move you tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants yes i mean what if it's a dream job that she's been looking forward to her entire life she agrees she flies back to boulder three times each semester i guess that's not so bad 1985 uh, julia is sent home from yale on paid leave after having an episode she lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him 
just two days prior. Is she developing, de de developing some kind of like memory loss or amnesia? What, what's that other word? Um, that other condition? Uh, I don't know. I'll try and look for it. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Considering this is, um, you know, something out of the ordinary, I would say talk to someone about it. Uh, go for a checkup. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, uh, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. Yes, that's the word I was looking for, dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. I'm already camping out. Ooh. You know, living like near the city and everything, it's actually difficult to look at the night sky and find stars because of all the light pollution. Can I? Okay, I can't move. Can I click on anything? Okay, backpack, no. Food, no. Journal! <laughs> He-Man! Oh, okay, I think I might have to censor that. Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. Okay, so you still have Mayhem. Uh, even though he ran away like a coward. You and Julia walk into the bar to see your friends and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. That doesn't sound good. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. <laughs> ah. That doesn't sound good. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, uh, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. Okay, so you decide to move her into a full-time care facility or you are determined to take care of her by yourself. Um... I don't know, like... I wouldn't mind looking after her. Well, as Henry, I wouldn't mind looking after Julia. But then I don't have the skills to really, you know, look after her. I guess full time care facility would be the best option. Oh, I'm awake. Oh no, I'm hiking. This is so beautiful. Can I go back? Okay, that's like a dead end. Oh, come on, I, I wish... Okay, one day, one day I'm gonna go camping. Even though I'm not exactly the fittest person around. <laughs> uh, 
uh, this environment is just I don't know <laughs> I'm lost for words <gasps> shh, 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 shh. no 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 come back your family agrees with your decision you find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there you see her every day than every other day. That doesn't sound too good. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. <laughs> uh, you slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Okay, so this is the point where things are just going downhill. 1989. Uh, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Um, okay. Once go by, Mayhem dies. Oh no. Not the doggy. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Okay, so I'm assuming that job is the forest ranger thing. Ooh, enter the lookout tower. Oh, it sounds so peaceful. I'm going to sleep like a baby in an environment like this. Imagine coming to a place like this and you're like, <laughs> fresh air. <laughs> Okay, let's go up. Oh, it would be so nice to see the moon. Well, like, I know you can see the moon now, but I mean, like, in a place that doesn't have a lot of artificial lights. Oh, what was that? I had something blinking just now. Oh, there it is again. Thorough lookout. Where? Can't see. Ah, there it is. Up we go. Ah, this is a great view. Hello! <laughs> okay, let's check. Okay, I know, I know I'm repeating myself, but this is just so beautiful. And again, I am going to try and go camping one day. Or at least, like, go for a walk or a hike. Woo! Gas can. Click, click. Nothing. Where's the entrance? I'm, like, stuck out here. Hello! Let me in! Oh, there. Oops. Walked right past it. Open the door. Turn on the power. No. Need to be closer. Ooh. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello? Ah. Two Forks 
Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Contact supervisor on radio. Okay. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Stalker, uh, let's shoot to activate radio. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy <laughs> hey said. Hey there, Delilah. Da, 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 da. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh, let's see. You killed three X Men. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Ah, let's go with that one. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. <laughs> Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better yeah, get some yeah. sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Oh, come on. Right. Let me Thanks. sleep. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh. Is that it? Close. Good night. Good night. Welcome <laughs> to the job. Firewatch. Day one. Okay, so we're going to cut it here for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like there's a really good story behind all of this. So I want to see this to the end. Uh, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And subscribe if you want to see more. And... If you have anything to say, uh, leave a message in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next episode. Ingat!